Hello friends, in this video let us discuss integration by parts formula. We use by parts formula whenever we have two different functions in multiplication under integration. The by parts formula is given by integration of u into v where u and v are the two different functions of x equal to first function into integration of second minus under integration derivative of first d by dx of u then integral of second v dx after finding derivative of first and integration of second we have to solve this integral for that we have to write this dx this is the by parts formula for solving problem consisting of two functions in multiplication now question is how to select first function out of two the first function is selected as per following preference l i a t e rule l stands for logarithmic function i stands for inverse function a stands for algebraic function t stands for trigonometric function and e stands for exponential function exponential function the logic behind this rule is first function should be easily differentiable function based on that uh, this preference is made now let us solve one simple problem uh, in which we use by parts formula now let us take this function x sin x dx now here we have two functions x and sin x x is a algebraic function and sin x is a trigonometric function therefore as per this rule l i a t the first preference should be given to which function algebraic or trigonometric in this sequence we get algebraic before trigonometric therefore this algebraic function should be treated as first function and this trigonometric function should be treated as second function now uh, this is equal to first function x into integration of second second function is sin x dx minus um, under integral derivative of first d by dx of first function is x then integral of second that is sin x dx dx x into integral of sin x is minus cos x because derivative of minus cos x is plus sin x minus cos x minus derivative of x is 1 just 1 integral of sin x is again minus cos x dx equal to minus x cos x this minus and this minus will become plus integral of cos x is sin x because derivative of sin x is cos x integration is nothing but anti derivative it will give just sin x plus c constant of integration as this is indefinite integral this integral value is say i this is the answer for given problem uh, this was all about this short video regarding by parts let's stop here thanks for watching goodbye